For some of you who knows me, I love NBA. I love the talents, the athleticism, but not until I practice the move and when I try to emulate what they do, I just find that uh, they sacrifice much. They have to put long hours in training. They have to sacrifice their diet. They need to sacrifice their family life and the risk of injuries. It's the same as all the Bible heroes that they have to give up much for God as well. And Mary is a great example for us today. First thing that I've learned is Mary is exceedingly humble. Our attitude precedes our behavior. When Gabriel announced her that she's going to give a virgin birth and she's highly uh, favored, she wasn't puffed up or she didn't roll her eyes like teenagers do, but she was troubled because she was given so much honor. She just say at the end that I'm only a humble servant of God. Second things I've learned is she believed in God's miracle and she had much faith. Mary knew exactly what Gabriel is mentioning about the virgin birth because she's a woman of the word of the Bible. She knew in Isaiah that says a virgin will give birth to a son and his son is the Messiah. She believed and um, Gabriel wants to give her more evidence by saying that even your cousin Elizabeth is giving birth in her old age. Nothing is impossible for God and Mary concurred. Third thing I've learned is huge sacrifice. Now for a teenager in a very conservative culture to have uh, a baby before marriage, it means diet consequences and costs for her. She may lose the marriage. She will be very shameful and uh, people will look down at her and also it means death. But she only said to, she didn't plead, she didn't say no, she just say, let it be as you have said, I'm only the servant of God. My application is, today we live through a crisis we've never experienced before. We can either thrive or we can dive, we can be better, or we can be bitter. We can trust or we can doubt. We need to trust God like Mary did. We need to have a humble spirit. We need to trust God that we can do the miraculous and we need to calm our course each day. My prayer is, Lord, thank you for the cloud of witnesses before us. Help us to be more like these heroes of faith. I'm only your humble servant. Let it be what you said today.